exemplary title. How do you feel? <laughs> I feel I feel honored. Do you? Yeah. Are you feeling it, Z-Flux? I'm feeling it. That's what I want to hear. I'm and really with that feeling being said, we have Ketchup versus JK. Okay. So this matchup, man. Tell me about this matchup. Very interesting, because there's I've heard from some camps. Well people that out here, and of course you got people like Vice Grip who plays uh Buzz Jr. You also have Arvark as well, and they feel that this matchup is actually not that bad for the Koopalings. They feel like it's not that bad. And I understand what kind of what this what they're uh, talking about. Because oh. you have you have the kind of movement that's really good for for a good uh, good against her, right? Oh, nice. The mobility. You have <laughs> oh, <laughs> stuck in that air dodge yeah. forever. <laughs> Eternity. <laughs> so you have the movement, you have the traps. She has kind of a problem going dealing around with zoners, because they can just kind of weave around her. And those are extra things that she has to deal with, which time is not really a really factor in a the DBC? <laughs> oh, yo, that that was clean. Catch up straight up say, I'm not going to make it back, but neither are Why you. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. But how about this? Okay. Good DI away right there for catch up. Definitely going to survive, live for another day. But that could have been lights out. That could have been the end of the story, man. That would have been the end of this game. Yeah, man. So, so a lot of the, the Koopalings are saying that this matchup isn't that bad because does does uh, the Koopaling weight have anything to do with the uh, with this matchup? Because it seems like he has a little bit easier time SDIing uh, Bayonetta's hits. So even though it's like really big, you do have situations where the the way that the Koopaling floats is will be a little different because of course there's different weights basically depending on if you hit the top, uh, you hit the top of the Koopaling, or if you actually hit just the farm cart itself. Yeah. So those things can kind of mess things up, but mainly the really thing is kind of the neutral. They feel like the neutral in general is really uh, a lot easier than it usually is versus other characters. That was good kind of somewhat safe kill setup, especially if you're good with doing like Z-drop stuff with a Mecha Koopa and stuff as well. And so, and like I said before, the character is really mobile. So a lot of good options, a uh, quick up smash out of shield, so that's really good too. So you can kind of go to Bayonetta's landing, and if she does anything, then on reaction to do up smash out of shield, get a kill. Oh my gosh, and that but was the most silent <laughs> begin just train. JK able to sneak in a back air. No sound. During all those footies and all those clown carts. So now to take the stock. Yeah, man. You said that was cool and all, but uh, your life's mine. And Ketchup is like, I don't know what is going on. <laughs> this man just kicked me in the face. Just going to keep clown carding and uh, up airing. I see what Ketchup can do. How that goes. Oh. Oh, I like that. I like that adjustment right there on the combo. From JK. Okay, here we go. Good DI down. Definitely got to see that. Oh, so also, uh, just want to talk about um, MMG in general, that crew, they also do have a Bayonetta main, uh, one of the stronger Bayonetta mains out in SoCal, uh, in Aravion. And oh, so, yes. Oh, yeah, that's going to be a stock. Yeah, so two things happen right there. If JK had actually just gotten a soft hit main right there, Ketchup was gone. Ketchup was pretty much just dead. He would just fall down. Get the card, but, but I like that even then, it took a while for him to get the clown card to do his up B. JK was prepared, went ahead, and got himself into place. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no. And if he dares, oh, he doesn't go for an air. Yeah, but great play by JK thus far, just dominating this matchup. And despite MMG probably maybe having some Aravion practice, Still not enough right now. It's uh, definitely looking like JK is just a, a bit of a different Bayonetta they may not be used to. Oh, no, definitely. This is uh, JK is a different beast. Jab one into down tilt, chases him out, hawks him down. Oh, and that was a wish time right there, too. So close to happening. JK just not afraid to go up in the air. Forget it, this clown card that's about to explode. I'm going for your. Going for the Koopaling. Yeah, he's going for the chase. And up air, yeah. Classic. Well, well done. So in that kind of situation, that is a problem of, in the pain of the clown cart. 
Yes, you go ahead and you can refresh your jump, but of course, if you do so, you jump out, then you get hit out of it for free. Very true. Right? So you jump out, you get hit by an up air, of course. Bayonetta having uh, one of the best anti-airs in the game, if not the best anti-air in the game, being, of course, Wish Twist. Yeah. Some damage and things that you get from that move. That's that's going to be the hard part. That's going to be a really, really hard thing to deal with. Now, another thing about JK, I know he's actually looking to uh, stay out here in SoCal. Yeah. After um, after December. Yeah. So, he might just become like one of the adopted sons of SoCal. Yeah. Kind of is already. I mean, he's already he's like our cousin, man. Oh, uh, he's already our brothers a cousin. from Vegas. No. Yeah. No, yeah, bro. Yeah, your brothers from Vegas. Oh yeah, the World Warrior. Do we have one of those coming up? J Max knows, man. Who knows? Is that We Fit Trainer? Yeah, man. We twerk. We twerk. Twerk, twerk. The ultimate twerk. I never see him at MSM. Yep. Huh. We twerk. 